this first tutorial I want to go over um, what I do to make a template for 3D Studio Max to model off of. So I'm going to be cutting out pieces of this image and um, bringing them into Max and applying them to some, a couple of flat planes to use um, as templates to model from. The only ones I'm really concerned with are the front, the side, and the top. Um, in Photoshop when creating templates for Max, I like to keep it a nice size. Um, I hear a decent resolution size is 512 pixels by 512 pixels um, because it's screen resolution we're talking about for a template, 72 dpi is just fine. So the first thing I like to do is um, I want to set up at least a top guide and a side guide here to snap to. I do have snap to guides on and I'm going to use my cropping tool. I've already set the width to 512, the height to 512, and the resolution to 72. So that'll give me a chance to snap right to this corner here. And now I'll just drag out um, to about the same distance from the other hand here. So this way I get a nice 512 by 512 um, box with the zombie centered. And I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm going to file, save as. This is going to be my main area where I'm going to import the other pictures. So file, save as for this. Um, this is my assignments area. Let's uh, create a new folder and call this zombie templates. And this is going to be the front view. front and I want to save this as a PSD. I'm going to click save. Once that's done, I'm saving to a network so it is a little bit slower than saving locally. Anyway, now I'm going to export this out for use in Max. Save for web and devices. I'm going to save this. Um, I already created a folder here. Let's see. Model sheets. Oh, because that was under the wrong class. Let's go to my 3D modeling class. Week 2, assignments, zombie templates, front, JPEG, save. Okay, now I'm going to go file, open, and I'm going to open my original JPEG file model sheet. Um, from here, I'm going to take go back. I'm still on my crop tool. I'm going to go back to here. I really don't need to set up guides on this. Well, I should set up a guide right here, at least for the top of his head. And let's click here, right about there. Drag down to about there. We'll move this over. Ah, cancel that. Let's move this over a little bit now. Trying to get the center to the center here on that crop. Wish there was an easy way to do it. Maybe there is. If I hit the control key, yeah, duh. Um, I think that could be okay. Let's hit enter on that. Drag this guy over to here. I'm not going to worry about lining it up yet. Come back here, go back to history, go here. Now we're going to come to this guy, and I want to go from fingertip, approximately there, to fingertip, approximately here, and let's go back to the crop tool, let's pull this out from side to side, there to there, and I'll center this a little bit. Hit 
enter, drag this to here, to here, close that, we're not going to save it, control zero, okay, let's go to layers, the background is our front, this is our side, this is our top. Okay, now get rid of the top, stick to the side. Um, let's just paint over anything we don't need, like this stuff here. We don't need any of that, we don't need any of this, we don't need this. Go back to that. Opacity, bring this down to about 50%. Now we're going to move our zombie over. Try to line him up as best we can. What I'm really concerned with is getting his arm dead center with the chest. Um, the head kind of lines up nice. The feet kind of line up nice. Maybe we'll uh, transform this just a little bit to try to get the size a little more exact here. That's good for the feet. Let's see what we got going for the head here. Like that. That's good for his head. Feet still lined up. Okay, hit enter. Now I'll change the opacity back to 100% this. Let's just make sure of something. Image size, 512 by 512. Good. 72 dpi. File. Save for web and devices. Save. And we'll call this side. And we'll come to our top view. We'll make our side invisible because we don't need it anymore. Um, Drop the opacity to 50%. What I want to do here first is I want to align the tips of the fingers with the tips of the fingers on my model sheet. I've got that snap on, so let's turn snaps off. Tip of the finger there. Shift hold and line up the tips of the fingers here. Get to the other side just a little bit. There we go. Hit enter. Now center it. Grab him, I'm going to shift and drag it down. I'm going to bring him down to the center of the image. Three, two, control zero. Try to bring him to the center of the zombie here. That's close enough. Okay. Bring the opacity up to 100%. Paint over whatever we don't need. File. Save for web devices. Save. Let's see if this is top. And that's it. Those three are ready for Max. Next, we'll go into Max and create our flat planes. Um, see you there.